1630. So let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, the balance remains the same, but the, what I mentioned has been the $300 loss based on the each loss based on the trade that I went previously itself. So right now itself, in terms of the crypto market itself, I'm still looking for short setup, like what I mentioned, but unfortunately, I missed the trade earlier today. So I actually did manage to enter the short, which I did mention somewhere yesterday that could be potential resistance itself in that sense. But I see how it is, especially when I stated over here that a decent bounce but currently facing resistance at a 200 day, a 200 period exponential, a simple mean average on the four hourly chart. So you can see that right now, all the market is currently falling, especially your S&P 500. You can see Bitcoin should be following suit and it's amplifying the effect as usual in itself. All right. So of course, the key thing here is that you can see the very strong support over here. So of course, if I were to enter a short setup, I'll be very clear to have a very tight trading stop loss or choose to take profit near here. And if there's a very nice bounce, I'll be very keen to actually close up the trade. But unfortunately, I didn't manage to enter a forward chart. And by the time I got this, it's already coming right now. So it's a little bit too late. I would say that potentially if I is somewhere over here, whereby there was a very uh, inverted candle candlestick pattern over here to be aggressive. Or even if you were to be a little bit conservative, you enter somewhere over here, whereby you will assume they actually broke the key support over here very strongly in one candle, two candle, and three candlestick itself. And yeah, so even the nice bounce is very much likely to be rejected at the 200 period exponential moving average on the forward B chart in that sense. Uh, yep. Yeah. Otherwise, that's more or less about it. Uh, I would say that there's likely to be further bearish momentum on the SP 500 in the coming days to weeks. Uh, short to medium wise, but definitely you know, talking about in terms of a long term wise, more than one year, I do see potential for further upside in that sense. All right, with that said, uh, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.